Too much on style over substance. We're joined by Susan Abrams, author of Professional Image Toolkit and co-founder of politicalicon.com. Susan, my sense is the issues are important, but frankly the brand matters. And, and sometimes the issues become a way for candidates to project their brand. Uh, do you agree with that? Yes, I do agree, John, and it's going to be vital as you go through this uh, election season up until 2008. You're going to see a lot of excitement going on. Susan, uh, let's talk about some of the major candidates and the brand that they're trying to project. And you're, you're the person that does the pictures, and I'd like you to talk about that. Let's start with Hillary, because I think Hillary now is trying to protect, project the image of a smart woman, a tough woman, who's capable of leading a country as powerful as the United States. Do you agree with that, number one? What should she do? What should she avoid? Yes, I do agree with that. If you look back at some of her images uh, earlier years, you can see that Hillary's gone through a metamorphosis. She has went from uh, being a much more uh, softer, pastel, long hair uh, with a hairband sort of image that was not genuine or uh, congruent with her personality type. Now she is strong, confident, uh, uh, determined and powerful and that is projected in her message and it's more in line with her her personality uh, what we also uh, how, how is she doing on this so far uh, she's doing very well in terms of her physical image but we did notice in watching uh, her speak and watching her on uh, her website is that she has a mannerism that she may not be aware of and that is a tendency to tilt her head back in a way that forces her to look down her nose uh, to, make, to make eye contact with the people or with the camera and that can be perceived as arrogance. So she's got to avoid so that. <clears throat> so she's exactly. got to project strength and not this hint of arrogance or coldness. Interesting. Let's talk about Barack yes. Obama, okay? Obama's strength, his brand in my opinion, young, fresh, not of Washington, able to bring us together, your sense of what, what he should show and what mistakes he can make. Well, with Senator Obama, he is uh, very approachable and friendly, and you're right, John, he doesn't want to be uh, come across as a Washington insider. But what we'd like to see with him and what we would recommend is more of a presidential appearance. Uh, he, in speaking he, in Iowa, as a matter of fact, we notice that he really goes with a business casual message in order to connect with his audience, but we want to see him wearing ties more often to present that sort of presidential appearance. After all, he's running for president, not for governor. Yeah, that's true. And his biggest problem is people are going to wonder if he's got the strength, if he has the experience. And open shirt is fine, but you ought to be about 70 when you're doing that. Let's talk about Rudy Giuliani. Doing better than people expected, doing pretty well. His brand, without any question, is he's the no-nonsense leader. What's he doing right? What's he doing wrong? What are the pictures? Well, what we see with Rudy Giuliani is that he dresses appropriately and he has a good presentation and a wonderful speaking ability to connect with the audience. What we would recommend is he speaks a little bit too quickly in his rate of speech. We would suggest that he slow it down just a bit in order to appeal to all 50 states. It's interesting. Uh, I've got to tell you, Susan, Giuliani at this conservative gathering finished second behind Mitt Romney. Romney dedicated a lot of resources. Giuliani comes in second with strong conservatives, even though a lot of people wonder about his, his conservative fundamentalism. We'll just have to see. John McCain. Yes. You know, I, you, John McCain is, uh, you know, experienced independent. But, you know, I think with some people now, they might be worried he's looking old. Maybe he's uh, sort of used himself up. How does he avoid that? What should he project? That's exactly right. That is his major obstacle. He's 70 years old, and that's older than Ronald Reagan was when he ran for president. So he needs to project energy, vitality, uh, activity. He needs to be in, viewed as someone who has, has strength. And the best way for him to accomplish that is to get him out of those white shirts or light blue shirts with light pastel colored ties. If you saw him on the Letterman show, he looked very washed out. He needs colors that are going to increase his energy and enhance his uh, vitality level. And that would be medium to deep blues with contrasting ties that will, will project the strength that he needs. Well, and I think the other thing that matters is not just the dress, but also the settings that, that he's found in because it's all designed to reinforce the 
the brand. Susan, let me just conclude yes. by saying, you know, I think Hillary, Hillary's doing fine. She comes out, she looks smarter, and she looks warm, something that, that yes. people were concerned about. Obama, uh, you know, he's, the inexperience is starting to haunt him a little bit. Giuliani doing better among conservatives than people thought. McCain appearing a little bit older, perhaps getting a little bit irritable. But you've got to keep your eye on John Edwards, who's now become a sharp elbow candidate, and Mitt Romney. He's had a bad week or two, but Romney is uh, definitely one of the top three. So we see where this goes. We're going to keep our eye on the words. We're going to keep our eyes on the pictures, and we're going to keep our eyes, of course, on their positions. Thanks for being with us, Susan. Coming up, is this America's new high? What is the ultimate fascination?